Hello, my name's Justin, and uh, you know what I just saw? I just saw that they are releasing a Vampire Bloodlines 2, uh, and thought, you know what? I love the original, and I, you know, figured there's no better way to kind of start building up a bit of the hype and seeing what is going on, uh, get back into the Vampire Masquerade, you know, feel of things, uh, by go back to playing the original. Now, this isn't completely the original uh we are on the unofficial patch here so it's unofficial patch 10.2 just so that we can have a little bit better upgraded graphics uh it patches in some of the cut content that was there uh, not there originally so the patch thing says it's been ages since i have played this game i forget pretty much everything about it but you know what we're going to uh we're gonna see how it goes and uh to start playing, have some fun with some Vampire Masquerade bloodlines. We're gonna get right into it. I forget pretty much everything about this game, uh, but I remember it being really, really good. So we're gonna go through. It looks like we're building our character. Uh, start a new character. So yeah, since I don't really remember much about this, uh, I don't really want to go in and set the character sheet myself. We're not gonna do any min maxing or anything like that. So. Uh, let's just go in and answer some questions. So, male or female character? You know what? I'm a guy. Let's start off with a male. Uh, you're stuck in traffic after a concert. The guy behind you is laying on the horn. Friend in the car are urging you to park the car. Help them stick the dude's horn where it's uncomfortable. Do we get out, pull the guy out of the car, and put him in the hospital, or... Talk your friends down. You don't need a lawsuit or jail time here. You know what? Probably the second one. Uh, mostly because it's less fun to do the second one. In reality, I would do the second one. Don't need to hurt people. But it is fun to hurt people. Mm. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with uh let's go with the talking choices here. Alright, so you just started playing the new cool computer game, uh, uh, that cool new computer game, but it's full of bugs. Do you go onto several forums and complain about the issue, email the developers themselves to get the game fixed, decide to look in the code yourself to patch it up? Well, I myself program, so that's pretty much not going to really be a thing. If you're playing the game, you'd have to, you know. Uh, might be able to look at some of the logs, something, but more than anything, probably email the developers in order to help them fix it. They are the ones who have all the source code. It's going to be the uh, most expedient solution to for everyone, actually. So an intruder has broken into your house and has entered the room. Uh, you have no choice but to confront them. Do you overpower and wrestle them to the ground, breaking as many bones as possible? It's brutal. Grab the heavy lamp next to your bed and smash their face in or grab your gun and fire into them keep one next to the bed for this very reason uh so i don't have a gun uh and you know i'm strong but i don't think if somebody's already broken my house they're probably came in here if they're confronting me as well they're probably strong as well pretty confident but i would say i'm gonna pick up the heavy lamp and smash him in the face with that yeah let's go for it uh all right, you're in a convenience store looking through the beer freezer. All of a sudden, a man walks in, pulls a gun on the cashier. Do you sneak up behind them, disarm him, and proceed to beat him senseless? Quietly make your way into the bathroom. So, no, you got to be the hero. That's what these games are about, right? Well, maybe not this one, but that's what everyone imagines they do. Next question. A bouncer at the opening of an exclusive nightclub won't let you inside uh, to the party with... All the beautiful people. Do you uh, convince him you work for that director? You know who. And you'll bring him along next time. Or do you hide out in the back uh, exit, wait for someone to leave, and then slip in undetected, or bribe him? Everyone's got a price, and it's worth it uh, to know that kind of people is inside. Yeah. Now, you know what? The easiest thing to do is probably just hide out back wait, and just slip in undetected. Uh, that's 
probably makes a little bit more sense inside of here. Like that's just this is like deception, this is stealth, and this is social. This is probably the fastest way to be honest. Like bribing them. Uh yeah, so let's go with let's go with the, the stealth option. Uh, a book entitled Kickboxing in Ten Easy Lessons. Uh right, let's yeah, let's read the question first, right? You you're in an all night pawn shop, feeling the need for some protection, but very low on cash. You can only afford to purchase one item. Is it a book on a book entitled Kickboxing and Ten Easy Lessons? A well worn baseball bat? A cheap Saturday night? <laughs> let's go with let's go with uh, the baseball bat. Can't go wrong with a baseball bat. Uh, as you're walking home late at night, you hear footsteps. Uh, Glance back and suddenly realize someone is following you. Do you turn to confront them or duck behind a tree to lose them? I'd probably try, probably on a tree, maybe around a corner, take a couple quick turns, probably try and lose them. Uh, the world's a cruel and unforgiving place, but you've gotten by uh, so far. Why? I live alone. I don't need others, just me, my dog, and to hell with the rest. Or stay out of sight. And the world won't even know that you're there. Uh, probably trying to be independent more than anything. Uh, it's probably a good way of getting by. Uh, or, you know, stay out of sight. People. This kind of implies that everybody's out to get you. No. Survive on your own strength. You've been embraced by the gangrel clan. Sometimes called nomads, loners, and introverts. Well, you know, that's makes a little sense uh the grand girls uh spurn on trappings of uh the civilization and prefer to roam the wilds in solitude known for having an uncanny connection with the beast within some learn the power to shapeshift oh that's interesting all right uh your vampire's attributes and abilities have now been determined and entered into its character sheet uh, which you will see next after your, your tour of the character sheet. You can make changes to the character or simply play it as it is. Point. So let's auto level is off because we're going to want to do that ourselves. So inside of here, uh, yeah, we are you know strong, gone over this. We've got a decent amount of fortitude. So what's that mean we're good at? Unarmed, unarmed combat. All right, we're, we're decent at that. We're decent at melee combat. Range uh, and combat defense we're good at as well. Apparently, we're good at hacking, uh, two and one for wits and computer. So we're we're good hackers, somehow very animalistic hackers. Uh, and our bashing, we can bash things, so we can shrug off damage from melee weapons. Uh, okay, that's good. So that's the that's the areas where we we are strong at. We got some decent lock picking, one and one, right? So really, we're looking at strength. Stamina, right, as our major ones over here, what we're going to do that, and wits, combat defense is there too. Fortitude's another one that will, I guess fortitude doesn't go into these. Uh, not a lot else down here. I guess I could try and stack these a little bit more if I wanted to, but you know what, let's go with something a little bit more well-rounded, right? We can be, we can do that. Uh, when we level up, maybe we'll go and get some intimidate stuff inside of there, or we just, just start attacking people with some brawn but this is looking good looking good all right you've not named your character yet please name your character that's you know that's a good point we are unnamed right so uh we're gonna give ourselves you know uh, a strong vampiric name right uh so we are let's be ah uh, let's 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 throw this out there what, what would this guy be uh well, he's animalistic in nature. Uh, he likes to, to fight, but he's also he's also a hacker. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're he, uh, we're gonna play as Buddy. Yeah, I think Buddy is a good name. So that that should work, right? Yeah. So let's be Buddy. What did you show me?
that went poorly. Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Well, that head just disappeared. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good hmm. evening. Well then. I guess that's lucky for Buddy, right? Your sire. Tragic. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must... adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great Clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. All right, let's find out exactly what happens. All right, get some basic controls just to move around, right? Toggle view is Z and use the camera, which is definable to go first and third person. All right, so. You know what? I think I kind of like this. This view. <laughs> what a scene, man! Woo wee! <laughs> then they just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in. So, uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? You know what? Not a bad idea. I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out? You know what? Fair. Yeah, I could use the help because I don't really 
I don't really know anything. Right. Uh, why don't we uh step out back here? Right. Rice is stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. You know, could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? Uh, you know what? I don't really remember, but chances of me just waking up, uh, not really. Though, buddy, buddy, I think Brody, even at this situation, buddy has a good understanding of what he is. Oh man, we're popping a cherry here! Ha ha ha! Oh, you're gonna love this. All right, check it out. Blood? It's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne, and blood, your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready though, cause hey. It's never as sweet as the first time. Oh? Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> All right. You go down there, casual like. You creep up on him. You bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. Because it'll come so natural, you think you've done it a thousand times already. All right, so so yeah, isn't isn't that a risk? Isn't that exactly what happened to me? <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. Uh, all right, all right. So over there, that's my blood. It's a few over my vampire powers. All right. Okay. They that's that's great. So humans are an abundant resource. Hi. Very subtle like. Um I would I would very much like a little more actually. Alright, there we go. There we go. I did it. You're woozy. All right, so I can mouse wheel to do those. That's good. Hey, look, I did yeah. it. Ah, uh, yeah. Hell yeah, you're feeling it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born-again predator. Feeling that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about right there. <laughs> when do I get my cape? Do I get to pick the color? That's obviously the choice I have to go with. All right, now you got Buddy the, the blood, super dog. You're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living. But wait, it gets better. All kindred, kindred—that's a our word for vampire. All kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. All right. Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right. Eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still, a chance at immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. Fringe benefits for joining the club. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? Worthless. A cross? Pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Okay, now. The fuck is this? No. You get inside and head upstairs. You beat up the bed. What the fuck is this? I mean, I'm kind of curious. Hi. Uh. Well, I thought I had to let go. Oh, I'm going this way. I can see the ladder, the staircase that the bell person paid for. Come down here.
Stay away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. A Sabat? They're, uh... Oh, Christ, I was hoping to spare you this shit till later. Uh, the Sabat? No. Uh, they're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, all right? Okay. The Sabat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. Oh, he's new? No time for political rundowns. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like you wants to mess with. Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. Frenzied Sabat bastards. All right, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. Oh, look at it. And I just hold it? No mini key? All right, yeah. All right, easy. In we go. How the fuck did you get in here? messing with me? Ah, uh, shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? Uh, moments. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabat assholes. You're a big, bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Huh. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Okay. I wouldn't call them the good guys, I wouldn't necessarily. It seemed more like a, uh, more like a gang. Let's see if he agrees with that by asking him if they're good guys. Mm, yeah, I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. Ah. <laughs> I like to let people form their own opinions. Right. Okay, clever. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Okay. You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. You gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. Anything goes. Okay. Password is Chop Chop. Command break list. Uh. So, yeah, available menus, safe. Yeah. And we know it's Chop Shop. Entering menu. Password succeeded. Excellent. Uh, unlock. Safe door unlocked. Excellent. Let's bang it out of here. Hello, Jim. No, it's, uh, it's Buddy. Thank you. So let's open it. Good. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna take that. No, there else. we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from topside. 
All right, yeah. Yeah. All right, away we go. I'm just a diversion? No problem. So my health will just regenerate over time. Dude, also, that was badass. Fucking waste of unlife, these sabbat vatos. You get a wing? Hey, hey! Look at them potholes! Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. Not the freshest catch, but it'll do. Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. <laughs> Alright. Apparently, your education makes your blood taste better. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. Alright, alright. The beast... It's always there, waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. I, 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 I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12-gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self-preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> I like this guy. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. All right. All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's going to drain fast. All right, do I need to? Yeah. That's more than enough for me. Not quite as good, huh? Eh, you could do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. <laughs> well, give it a try. Sucker! <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. Oh, <laughs> pass me some salt for my rat. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Why? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. Alright. Away we go. Maybe find me some more rat. Alright, go. Gonna need to sneak by here. That's all it took. Keep it quiet. They're okay, inside whatever. here. Seems Although that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's wounded too. Go take care of him. Don't worry. He's probably greener than you. How's that possible? The Sabbat, you see, they don't have the most rigorous training program. In fact, that poor sod is lucky if he knows he's a vampire. Now he's probably just turned and beaten over the head. We we'll like to do that big shock troop. Cannon fodder. Put him out of his misery. Yeah, you know what? And 
itching to use this. He is this. a vampire, so be ready. All right. Go get him. Damn right. That's that. Sounds like we got another pack moving in, though. The Saban are going all out. Better head underground, avoid straight bullets. All right. all right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. All right, first things first. Got to use the washroom. I mean, haven't since I've died. <laughs> all right. Uh, how do I, mean, I can't flush this toilet. Oh, there's no handle to flush this toilet. That's un. No wonder it's filthy. Oh, there we go. Catch myself. In we go. Stop. Just stay back. Keep your distance. I mean... Now who the hell are you? You involved in all this? Because I'm going to radio this in, and SWAT will be all over this place. Alright. <laughs> no, but if SWAT comes, then they're going to drive the gunman down here. You want that? That's a, that's, that's a good point. Uh, most men don't fear me until it's too late. Wow, smart and sexy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Uh, I probably wouldn't say three. But you know what? Just because the most one. It's got to be one. No. Well, I uh, I left my radio in a caprice anyway. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. All right. This way. This will lead us up to the warehouse. We can maybe sneak out that way. All right, your your voice is very muffled, uh, but I'm gonna go with you anyway because I'm sure it's something I probably shouldn't be drawing attention to anyway. Uh, it's just not polite, really. So yeah, you can you can come with me. Uh, so come on, let's go. I'll try and get you out of here too. That. I was going to feed him. I was I I was going to eat him. What an asshole. Uh <laughs> he was he was supposed to be a snack. Oh, okay. So let's sneak up on this guy. Kill this guy with a crowbar. A dust thing. Not sure what's going on. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them holed up. Okay. Just my luck. Huh? You go find that. No telling where it came from. <laughs> Fucking humans. Gangbangers protecting their turf. Oh, man. I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals about to take one for the hood. Yeah, they probably seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots in it will take down a human. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die and lose it. I don't use guns much. They're noisy, they're clumsy. Practically useless against vampires, but still, a kindred's got to keep up with the times. Mm -hmm. And in modern-day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Well, you know, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm going to make sure there's no stragglers around outside. <laughs> Terrible. Give me some rat. It's delicious. 
delicious, delicious rack. Uh -huh. I am filthy. Yeah. Let's let's go to the ground floor. That's uh, sh shakiest elevator. My, I've never been in an elevator that fast. Ever. Oh yeah. That's exactly what I want right there. Give the shooting thing a shot. That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. All right, that's it. Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Barry, Dodge, Spin, and all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. This is normal? Well, to be honest, you came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabbat. Now, oh, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred at stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, boy. I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you've got a cab to catch. Was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but nah, hell, you'll figure it all out. I don't really want the gun here. You can take it. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's this bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> that acts of stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. So here we are. We find ourselves in this brand new house of uh, good goodness. Uh, seems we have mail and a and a, a well used laptop. Uh, the prince couldn't afford a better laptop or um, better flop house. We got some nice geometrically shaped lights and. Uh, fridge that has a blood pack in it good that's always great to see i'm not sure does blood expire maybe there's three inside of there there's pizza why is there pizza here i don't eat pizza do i maybe somebody else did no idea and a drawer all right okay so uh, this TV, you can watch some TV, hang out, but yeah, okay, so this, uh, I'm probably gonna leave it off right here. We'll get back to this again later, but we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, take a look around, play through a lot more. We're, uh, gonna go through this and start enjoying some more of, uh, Vampire the Masquerade, so, uh, talk to you guys next time.